Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I am going to show you how to highlight the active row and the active column based on the cell selection in a data set. So here I have this data set and see what happens when I make a selection. It would instantly highlight the row number, the active row and the active column based on this cell selection. And when I make a change in the selection, it would remove the previous highlight and it would highlight based on this selection. Now this is useful if you have a huge data set and you want to track what is the column, which is the column that you have selected or which is the row that you have selected, then you can use this method. Now you do not have to use the same color, you can use different colors. So in this case, when I make a selection here, you can see the column and the row gets highlighted in different colors. Now let's see how to create this. So I have this data set here and I've not created that thing here, that highlight here. So I'm going to show you how to do that, that from scratch. Now to do that, we are going to use three things. We are going to use a formula. We are going to use conditional formatting and a very easy VBA code. Now the formula in this case would be the cell formula and the cell formula gives you the information about the selected cell or the active cell in the selection. Now in this case it gives us stuff like the address, column number, color, contents and all these things. What we are going to use is the column number of the selected cell and the row number of the selected cell. So in this case if I select column here and I hit enter and notice that uh, this value call would be always be in double quotes and now when I hit enter it gives me 14 because 14 is the column number of this selected cell but if I come here and I change the selection I select this cell here and press F9 this gives me 17. I have to press F9 because this is a formula and formulas need to recalculate and Therefore, when I make a selection, because there is no change in the worksheet, it is not getting recalculated. So I need to press F9 to make this recalculate. And this is where we are going to make this a dynamic by using VBA. So if I come here and I make a change in selection, I select this one and I press F9, you can see the column number changes. Similarly, if I use the row uh, function the cell function with a row argument you can see that it would give me the row number of the selected cell so if I select a cell here and press F9 it gives me 6 because the sixth row is selected so we are going to use uh, the, this formula along with conditional formatting and before I show you how to use this formula in conditional formatting let's first create the formula that we are going to use. So I'm going to use an OR formula and within this I'm going to use two conditions. The first condition would be if the cell column number is equal to the column number in the data set and if the cell, the selected cells row number is equal to the row number in the data set. So this is my formula. Let me copy this formula because I'm going to paste this in conditional formatting. And let me quickly explain this. What this formula does is when I make a selection in this data set, let's say I select this cell E5, then it is going to check whether the column number of cell E5 is equal to the column number in the data set. Now E5, the column number and row number both are 5. So it is going to check whether the column number is 5, which would only be true for the cells in column E. And if the row number is equal to 5, which would only be true for the cells in row number 5. So the column number and the row number 5 are going to get highlighted by conditional formatting. So I'm going to select this entire data set because I want to apply conditional formatting to it. I would go to the Home tab. Here in conditional formatting, I would go to New Rule. And I would select Use a formula to determine which cells to format. And here I would paste the formula. Now you can also type the formula directly here but because there is no IntelliSense it is easier to first do it in Excel and then copy paste it here. Now I would have to specify the color in which I want to highlight so I would click on format, I would click the fill tab here and I would select the color and now when I click OK you can see it highlights the uh, first column in the first row because that is the row and column number of the active cell which is A1. But if I make a change in the selection and press F9, you can see it changes the 
highlight it changes the row and column number that are getting highlighted similarly if i make a selection here and i press f9 it highlights these rows and column numbers based on the selection now i don't want to keep on pressing f9 every time there is a change in the selection instead i want this to be dynamic so to do that we are going to use vba so i would go to the developer tab here and i would click on visual basic you can also use the keyboard shortcut alt f11 so hold the alt key and press f11 and that would open the vb editor which is this now this is the vb editor and here on the left we have the project explorer and we have two workbooks book one which is this one and the other workbook which is open so you can see all the open workbooks here in this workbook because this is where my data set is i need to select the sheet on which i have the data so because this is sheet one I would double click on sheet one and when I do that it opens the code window for sheet one now let me full screen this now in this case I would come here on this drop down and I would select worksheet and here you would see it inserts worksheet underscore selection change event what this event is going to do is whenever there is a change of selection in the worksheet it is going to execute the code here so now all I have to do is enter one line of code which is application dot sorry calculate application dot calculate and see what happens I am going to minimize this now when I make a change in the selection it automatically highlights the active row and column based on that selection so I don't need to press F9 in the backend VBA is uh, doing that automatically whenever there is a change in selection now if you want to highlight it in different colors you would have to apply two different conditional formatting rules so one would be for the column and one would be for the row I would leave that for you to decide and decipher how to do that uh, another thing that I want to show you in this is this is working fine but there is one problem with this which is that if I copy this cell here and I try and paste it here it is not going to happen because as soon as I make the change in the selection the copy paste part goes away so I would need to change my VBA code a little bit so I would again go to visual basic and here I would need to make a very minor change in this code and I would say if application dot cut copy mode is equal to false then then run this else do not so now what I'm doing I'm doing in this case is I'm checking whether the person or whether the user has made a copy or a cut so whether he has copied the cells or he has used control X or he is cutting these cells if that is the case do not calculate recalculate the sheet every time based on the selection change but if that is not true which means that if he has not copied it then simply uh, recalculate it so now if I come here it's working fine and I can also copy paste it so if I copy it from here and I come here and paste it it is going to work so this is how you can use uh, three things one is uh, the formula which is the cell formula along with conditional formatting and VBA to quickly highlight the active row and the active column another very good thing about this is in case you have made any changes in the cell color so for example if I come here and I change the cell color to let's say yellow and I then change the selection that cell color is not going to go away it will remain there so if I select this obviously the condition formatting color takes over but when you change the selection that color that highlight is going to stay so it is not going to mess up your existing uh, data set it is not going to mess up your existing formatting but it is going to help you uh, dynamically highlight the active cell that active uh, row and the active column based on the cell selection that's it in this video I hope you found this useful if you are watching this video on YouTube please subscribe to this channel to get new updates and awesome Excel tips videos Thank you and have a nice day.